Hi, and welcome to Thin Black Lines. CX packet is a common weight type, but does CX packet weight values are always a sign of some performance problem? For better understandings, don't forget to watch our introduction video of weights and cues series. SQL Server is fully capable to take advantage of multiprocessors. If instance and query settings are in favor of parallel query processing, SQL Server operating system can decide to divide the query work and assign it to multiple worker threads. Each of these worker threads goes to separate scheduler and after query resolution, output from all these threads is recollected to get final results. Let's revisit this process. During parallel query processing, an additional coordinator thread is also used. If statistics of base tables are updated and workload between threads is divided equally, Coordinated thread generates CX packet weight from start of query processing to final result generation. Besides that, all threads completed their work together. For parallel query processing, CX packet weight generation by coordinated thread is a must thing and is not a performance issue. But if somehow statistics are not updated, then there are possibilities that workload will not be divided equally or some kind of blocking may cause a thread to finish its work a bit slow. In these cases, threads which already finished their work, as well as the coordinated thread, will keep on generating CX packet weight values until every thread has finished its work and final result is compiled. This is the case where CX packet weight values rise sharply and should be a concern for a database administrator. Outdated statistics are the major cause for uneven division of workload between threads. Keep table statistics updated. Every other query is not complicated to be resolved through parallel execution. Missing or fragmented indexes can cause this. Necessary indexes must be created and should be maintained properly. When multiple NUMA nodes are configured, processes on a single NUMA node works with its own memory and working with single group of processors and its relevant memory is far more efficient. As compared to involving processors and memory of other NUMA node on same box, max degree of parallelism for a box where multiple NUMA nodes are configured should be equal to number of processors on single NUMA node. And never forget, CX packet will be zero if max degree of parallelism value is 1, but also it will stop SQL Server to use parallelism and poor performance will be the ultimate result. Hence, not recommended. 